All right, what is going on guys? So today I'll be going over how to fish a flying sea for salmon, for king salmon. It is finally salmon season now. It's today, I think today is like July 17th today. So I think it opened just yesterday. But uh, yeah, I mean, it is finally salmon season. Although I don't really expect much today because it's really early. But normally around that October, September time is like prime time for salmon, even November. Uh, but yeah, so today I'm going over how to fish a flying sea. So let's get into it. So pretty much when fishing a flying sea, the gear I like to use is you can use a spinning rod uh, or a bait casting. It is, it's up to you, whatever you want to use. Uh, for rod, I like to use a medium heavy or a medium. And for the line, uh, I used to use like 10 pound, 10 pound mono, believe it or not. My dad and I actually, when we first started out, we didn't really know what we were doing, but we landed like almost 15 pound kings on just like 12 to 10 pound line believe it or not but just to be safe now now that i know a little more you can use i like to use braid 20 pound braid and i have like a really long 20 pound floral leader just in case the salmon are a little line shy obviously you could probably go straight braid if you really wanted to but i'm just gonna go with that leader just in case and for the cast usually you don't want to cast like to the side you don't want to parallel the bank what you want to do is you want to cast just straight out you just want to cast straight out just like that and then you can let it sink to the bottom if you want to but you normally i don't like to do that especially when i'm fishing around a really snaggy area i don't want to lose my bait so after you let it sink for a bit you just start to reel and you'll feel that blade starting to spin because there'll be a little resistance against your rod and what you want to do is you just want to slowly reel it reel it as slow as you can but still have that blade spinning if you know what i mean that's pretty much all you want to do. You just want to slowly reel it while you still have that blade spinning. So reel it as slow as you can, but still have that blade still working and spinning underwater. And you'll feel it. And you'll know what I'm talking about when you fish the flying sea. And you just keep doing that until you get bit. But it's still really early in the season, so I don't really expect much today. But towards, you know, the end of the year, October, November, maybe even September. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, well, we got ourselves a, a little bass. I saw him come out of there and just smoke this thing. And that's the good thing about the flying sea too. The bass love the flying sea for some reason. So, I mean, they'll keep you busy. See, look at that, guys. Look at how he ate that thing. He got all three troubles. He got all three hook points. He ate the entire trouble hook. There we go. Little bass. See you later, bud. But, I mean, yeah, that's... The bass will keep you busy while the salmon ain't biting. And when the salmon bite, they bite, you know? And, oh, speaking of the bite, and usually when the salmon bite, they'll bite real close, actually. They'll probably, they'll follow it in all the way to the edge. And right before you pull it up, they'll come up and smoke this thing. They'll actually come up, they'll come up and they'll follow it all the way to the edge and then finally hit it right before you pull it up. And man, when the salmon bite, they feel like, it feels like you hit a brick wall. Like it's literally, it feels like when you got snagged, you get stuck on the log and then it just feels like that you just stop and you just got to set the hook that's literally it so just to summarize it uh all you got to do is just cast it straight out let it sink however you however long you want it to sink and then you just slowly reel it back to you you know get that blade moving and you just reel it as slow as you can but still have that blade moving and spinning underwater and you'll feel that resistance against your rod and you just slowly really oh see i got bit right there it's probably a little bass and you just feel it and you just slowly reel it back to you. And, you know, the secret is to getting these freaking salmon to bite is, is basically bite when you're not thinking about fishing. When you're thinking about anything but fishing, that's when the salmon will hit. When you're zoned off and you're thinking about, you know, what you're going to eat tomorrow for breakfast. Literally, when you're not paying attention, that's when they'll hit it. It's odd, but at least that's how you get bit. But the hardest part is trying to zone out like that. But, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. I mean... That's all you got to do. You just throw it out there, straight out, and then you let it sink for however long you want, and then you just start the retrieve. You just go real slow with it. But yeah, just just remember, guys, the mindset is that, you know, you got to go out there with low expectations and just and just go out there and grind. Put, out, put in your time. But trust me, once you get your first salmon, it'll be all worth it. And also, the second lure that I like to use is the jerk bait. That's actually what I caught my first ever salmon on. And then I transitioned to the flying Z, but yeah, I'm gonna go over how to fish the jerk bait for salmon. We actually caught two salmon this year on the jerk bait while fishing for stripers, believe it or not. I'll link the video up in the corner. And so I'll go over how to fish the jerk bait right now. 
All right, guys, so for the second bait I like to use for salmon is the jerk bait. Uh, it's actually pretty good for salmon. This is what I caught my first ever salmon on. Uh, you can use the same setup as what I use for the fly and see, but right now I only have 12 pound mono on this. I actually got to change it out. You can pretty much use the same gear on both on both lures, but I'm gonna go over the retrieve. So you want to cast it out straight out how you would fish the fly and see. And sometimes they'll hit it literally as soon as you hit the water and you start to jerk the first time, that's when they'll hit it. Like that's how aggressive the salmon are. You gotta remember that these salmon aren't really out here to feed. They're more here to, you know, breed. So they're not really focused on eating. They're more hitting this stuff out of aggression because they're really pissed off, you know? So just remember that these fish aren't really hitting, you know, to eat. They're just hitting this thing because they're really aggressive. And then how you wanna work this thing, you just throw it out there and you just, you know, you fish how you fish for stripers with the jerk bait. You just rip, rip pause rip pause rip rip pause rip pause right and you just play with it uh sometimes like i said they'll hit it as soon as you hit the water as soon as you throw it in like a top water blow up they'll hit it or sometimes you got to work it for a little bit how you fish the flying scene and just work your way back and it, they'll hit it that way too let's just throw straight out and then you can reel it down or you can just jerk it down and you just keep fishing it you just keep ripping it back to you rip rip pause rip pause rip rip pause rip pause right rip what you can do is you can swap off between the two whenever you get tired of throwing the jerk bait you just throw on the uh the flying sea and then whenever you get tired of the flying sea you can just throw on the jerk bait and you just alternate between the two and there are others like you can use a spoon instead of a flying sea or instead of a jerk bait you can even use a you know a square bow crank bait but those are my like my two top salmon lures really so jerk bait and a flying sea you can't beat those two really but yeah that's pretty much it guys so yeah guys pretty much get out there go put your time in and you guys gotta remember that these salmon are very hard to catch just put your time in and just be patient and you'll get your shot at it so yeah make sure you guys bring a net and make sure you guys don't lip them you gotta grab them either by the tail or you gotta gill them so yeah guys make sure you bring a net and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's how you fish the two baits There we go. I'm on one. Spotted bass. Get on up here. Actually, it's a little largey. There we go. A little hunchback largemouth. Must have been really hungry. Bass love the flying sea, man. They love it. Oh my gosh, small mouth, get on up here, there we go, dude he, how'd you even eat that, he didn't even eat it, he just hit it, bro you just gotta chill out, dude he hit it, he got it on the outside, <laughs> dude that's how aggressive these bass are, like he's, he's, his, the flying sea is half his size, he's the size you want for a tank right there beautiful fish there he goes there he goes man i've been throwing this fine sea for a while now and i still haven't got anything but that's to be expected when salmon fishing it is to be expected there we go is that a bass oh my this is a big small mouth oh my freaking goodness this is a giant this is a giant smallmouth. Oh my gosh. Get on the bank. Whoa. Holy smokes. Look how big this guy is. Hold up, bro. You, oh, shoot. You got to relax. You got to relax. You got to relax. Oh my gosh. Dude, even I don't get this size on the tube. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look how mean that fella is. Look at that. He got it right there. I didn't even expect that. I fished the same area with the tube earlier and I didn't even get this guy. And then I you throw the flying C. It's the smallmouth killer. Look at that. That's like a it's like a pound. Pound smallmouth. Especially out here on the river. That's like a this is a very good size. You don't catch these guys often. I got him good though. He wasn't going nowhere. 
Okay, let's let this little guy go. This is like a very good size. I mean, look how fat he is. And he even has a little crawdad down his mouth. I don't know if you guys can see that. But beautiful small mouth <sighs> on the flying sea. Let's let him go. There he goes. I thought it was a salmon when I first hooked it, but you know, I ain't complaining. I will take a pound smallmouth any day. Trust me. I thought it was a big old salmon, but... Oh, there we go. We got another one. What? <laughs> and these guys love the flying sea. Popper, baby. Oh, man. Look at that. Not, not a big one, but for Lake Hogan, this is my biggest fish on top water, baby. Came up, blew up on it. All right, let's let this fish go. Thank you, buddy. Made my day a lot better.